So let's examine the following example that deals with a double slit experiment. So suppose a screen contains two very small openings that are separated by 0.11 millimeters. Now a second screen, the viewing screen, is placed 1.5 meters away from the screen with the two openings. Now if you shine monochromatic light with a wavelength of 600 nanometers onto the double slit screen, find how far apart will adjacent bright fringes form on the viewing screen. So that is described in diagram A. So essentially we have the double slit screen, the rays of light or the waves of light come in through these two openings, the waves of light essentially diffract and the following bright and dark fringes are formed as a result of wave interference. So constructive interference between the waves forms the bright fringes shown by these blue regions and the regions in between these empty regions are known as the dark regions and they're formed as a result of destructive interference of these waves of light. Now the distance between the viewing screen and the double slit screen given by L is 1.5 meters. The separation distance between these two openings and between these two waves given by D is equal to 0.11 millimeters. So we essentially want to find the separation distance between any of these fringes. So this fringe, the sensor fringe, is known as the zeroth order fringe. This is the first order fringe, the second order fringe. So let's essentially choose these two fringes and let's find the separation between the first and the second order fringe as shown in this diagram. And to do this we're going to simplify and draw diagram B. So. We have the following double slit screen, we have the viewing screen, we have the separation distance, and we have the following purple line, which essentially represents our horizontal line that cuts our double slit in half. Now, instead of viewing our light as waves, as sinusoidal waves, we're going to view them as light rays. So, the light ray that forms the first order fringe is shown in the following diagram and the ray of light that forms the second order fringe is shown above this one. So, basically, we have two right triangles. So, we have the smaller right triangle where our base of the triangle is this distance L. This angle theta 1 is simply the angle that the ray makes with respect to the base and this is the height of our triangle let's say given by y1 and likewise we have the larger triangle where our height is given by y2 and the base is also L and our angle is now theta 2. So we basically want to use these two right triangles to solve this problem. Now let's recall the following equation that will become important in solving this example. So recall that the angular position, this angle of the bright fringes is given by the following equation and we derived this in the previous lecture. So m multiplied by lambda is equal to d multiplied by sine theta where m is known as the order of our fringe. So for example if we're dealing with the first order our m is equal to 1. If we're dealing with the second order our m is equal to 2. Now let's begin. So let's begin by essentially assuming that our angle theta is very small. So if we assume that the angle theta is very small, then the angle theta is approximately equal to sine of theta, which is also approximately equal to the tangent of theta. So let's apply the following equation and let's rearrange it and solve for sine of theta 1. So if we use the following equation, sine of theta 1 is equal to m multiplied by theta divided by d. We simply took d and brought it to the left side of this equation. So m 
for this particular case, since we're dealing with theta 1, m is equal to 1 because we're dealing with the first order fringe. So m is 1, our wavelength is 600 nanometers, which is equal to 600 multiplied by 10 to the negative 9 meters, and we divide that by d, which is equal to this quantity. We convert that to meters, and that's equal to 1.1 times 10 to negative 4 meters. So sine of theta 1 is approximately equal to theta 1 because we're making this assumption. We're assuming that the angle is very small. So notice this angle is given in radians. So theta 1 is equal to, we solve this and we get about 5.5 times 10 to negative 3 radians. Now, let's actually use our right triangle, so the smaller right triangle. So the angle is theta 1, which we now know given in radians. We know what the base is, it's given to be L, which is 1.5 meters, so we could find what the Y1 is. So tangent of theta 1 is equal to opposite divided by adjacent, so y1 divided by l. And this is approximately equal to theta 1 because we made this assumption. So if we rearrange this proportion, we get y1 is equal to l multiplied by theta 1. Now l is 1.5 meters and theta 1 was calculated to be 5.5 times 10 to negative 3 radians. So y1 is equal to about 8.3 millimeters. So this distance between the zero fringe and the first fringe is equal to 8.3 millimeters. Now we find what y2 is by following the same exact procedure. So now we let m equal 2. So sine of theta 2 from this equation is equal to m multiplied by theta divided by d. Now theta and d remains the same, but m becomes 2. So sine of theta 2 from this assumption is approximately equal to theta 2. So that means this is equal to this, which is about 1.09 times 10 to negative 2 radians. Now we take the larger right triangle. So once again, the base is L, the height is now y2 and the angle is theta 2. So we use the tangent trig function. Tangent of theta 2 is approximately equal to theta 2 and this is approximately equal to opposite divided by Jason or y2 divided by L. So if we rearrange the equation y2 is equal to theta 2 times L. Theta 2 was calculated to be 1.09 times 10 to negative 2 radians and our L is 1.5 meters. So we see that Y2 is equal to about 21.8 millimeters. So now we know this distance and this distance to find the separation distance between the first and second order fringe, we simply subtract these two values. So fringe 1 and fringe 2 are 21.8 minus uh, 8.3 millimeters, which is equal to 13.5 millimeters apart. So this is what we were looking for. So the distance between these two fringes is about 13.5 millimeters.